guys. Last week on the show, we had a subscriber comment about the sanding storage up here and the dividers that I use. Uh, I use a lot of overhead shelving in my shop. Um, you can see some up here in the back. You can see some more back over here and of course there's some on the other side of the wall. Those long shelves can be a real cluttered mess unless you find some way to divide them up. So what I'm going to do today is show you an easy way to divide those shelves up into almost like cubby holes. I uh, use two sizes, a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6. So let me show you how to do that. It's not uh, anything special. It's not some kind of epiphany. It's just smart thinking. So let's have a look at this. So here we have one of the 6x6 shelf dividers. You can see here that I've rounded the corners. That just makes it a little safer when you're reaching in to get things on the shelf. You're not cracking up your fingers or whatever with the sharp edges. We've got a gap here. The gap coincides with the thickness of your shelf. That way you can slide into the shelf perfectly and sit securely but still be easy enough to slide back and forth. The bottom here is about an inch thick. It gives you a little extra support from the underside when you're sliding it into your shelf. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make one of these. you got to try this. First things first, check the blade for square. Six by six square. Now we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to leave an inch and a quarter gap on the back end of this. So we'll just make a little mark there for inch and a quarter. We also know that we want to leave an inch on the bottom for the stability and that our shelf is three quarters of an inch thick. So we're going to mark three quarters as well. Now just basically join the dots with your square to mark out where it is that you want to be cutting. This isn't exactly fine woodworking, fellas. This is just kind of butchery, but it works. Okay, several ways to cut this out. What's your preference? Jigsaw, scroll saw, uh, band saw, it's up to you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be using the scroll saw. Okay, with a three quarter inch thickness, I'm going to be using a number seven reverse tooth blade. And uh, you just want to cut it out, follow along your lines. Try to be as accurate as you can. Again, this is not fine woodworking. Okay, now to round those corners. It doesn't have to be anything fancy here, guys. You don't need some fancy beam compass or anything like that. Normally, I would probably use a compass. But I just want to show you guys, you can use anything. How about a can of wax? Just mark those corners. It doesn't have to be really anything precise. Not at all. This is just something to mark it out. And you know how I'm going to cut it. So now we're going to head back to the scroll saw. simple as that. Probably took about 10 minutes in total to make. I just made the one. You can make 20, you can make 30, you can make as many as you want. Whatever your needs are, that's how many you can make. Obviously, to use them, put them on your shelf, slide them in. That's it. It's a great little thing. I'll tell you, it can turn a cluttered shelf to an organizational area. I mean, it's fantastic. Try it out and, you know, it'll clean it up just like magic.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Thanks for watching. Just one more thing, guys. When you're screwing up your blade, don't be a hero. Unplug it.